If you've been watching me for a while, you might know by now that I used to, right around like the 2018, 2019 years, go into so many different fitting rooms and try on so many different sizes of jeans. And it's one of the things that I am the most looking forward to once the world opens back up and things are safe and I'm vaccinated and all that good stuff. So I thought that this would be a fun, safe, at home experiment for just a little bit longer while I stay home, just a little bit longer. And if you saw a few videos back, I compared five different pairs of jeans from five different brands. I've done a couple videos like that in the past. And in that video, I tried on a pair of Levi's jeans. And a lot of you, I would say over the last like year or so, a lot of you have requested that I do a try on of the Levi's rib cage jeans, because you all know how much I love my high-waisted jeans, the higher the better. And apparently these rib cage jeans are incredible. They're like basically up to your chin, which is all I could ever ask for. So I ordered quite a few pairs back in probably like November or December, and they were all too small. They were all way too small. I tried to get them buttoned and I could only get them to like right here. I mean, it was awful and that's my typical size. So I exchanged them for the next size up and those were way too big. So it's very confusing. I'm gonna basically try to find my size in Levi's today. Levi's sizing is a bit confusing because it goes numerically like in the sort of European numbers, like 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. I believe they maybe even go up to 34, but not all of their styles are available in a 33, 34, most of them end at a 32. But then their plus sizing picks up, I believe at a 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, etc. So there's some overlap there. And I do always have a lot of questions about the W next to the sizing because that does indicate plus size. So for example, I ordered a 16 W and I had quite a few comments from people saying that a 16 W is actually a size 18. And I'm like, well, then why wouldn't they just label it as a size 18? Someone said, if you want to get a size 16, you need to order a size 14W. And I'm like, but why wouldn't it just be a 16? Like, can someone please explain this a little bit better to me down below? I know that there's some difference in proportions, but I'm just very confused. So I ordered about like four or five pairs of jeans. I'm gonna like do a little investigation for you here. This was not cheap, so hopefully you'll give this video a thumbs up. I do this all for you to be your guinea pig. I really am looking forward to the day that I can just go back into the fitting room and not have to purchase all of these jeans. I will be able to just try them on, see what fits, etc. But in the meantime, this is what's gonna have to happen in the pandemic. So I've got quite a variety of cuts, fits, and sizes, and we're gonna jump in and see how all of these fare on my size 16 body. If it's anything like my experience has been thus far, it is going to be quite the roller coaster ride. Okay, starting off with the pair that really started it all. Well, actually the second pair because the first pair was way too small, which I ordered another pair of that's more stretchy. So maybe that'll fit. I don't know. We'll get into it. But here is the rib cage jean. I've tried these on in another video. I'm going to try them on just really quickly to show a point. So these are size 16W, which was when I went on the Levi's website, the smallest plus size available in the rib cage jeans. I'm now aware that they make a 14W, but not in every style. I don't know. Very confusing. If you're confused, just know I'm right there with you. I don't know what the hell is going on, but we're going to try our best. So yeah, these are a size 16W, which now technically I guess is an 18. So, okay. Just to show you a little bit of an example, here are the size 16W. So as you can see, they're extremely oversized, which if you were going for that like baggy jeans look, then that's great. But I mean, these jeans just simply don't fit. They're way too big, a lot of room in the crotch and like throughout the legs. It's just not a good fit. So then I thought, okay, you know, here is where we're starting at. This is our starting point. If these are too big, then obviously I need to size down, but this was the smallest size for plus size in this type of jeans. But then I also tried on the largest straight size in this type of jeans and I couldn't even get it buttoned. So it's just like, what? there has to be something in between. As of the time that I shopped for these jeans and for this video, those were two separate orders. I did not see a 14W available in plus size in the rib cage jeans. So let me know if I'm missing something. But regardless, this is where we're starting here. So this is what a 16W looks like. Not great. I've mentioned this in probably every single video, but I really look forward to the day where more universal sizing is a thing. So where you say I'm a 16 and you can walk into any store and wear a size 16. So I decided to try a 14W. Now this is called the classic straight hyper soft jean. I'm pretty sure this was the only pair of jeans on Levi's website that I could find in a 14W. So let me know if you have better luck in the comments below. But if this is a 16W, which is more like an 18, 
then I guess a 14W will be more like a 16. So let's find out. And once again, we are back here with the strategic jeans try on. Someone's got to do it, you know? So I'm willing to take one for the team here. I am also desperately hoping that these are high rise, but I mean, I guess I didn't even check. Oh, it says mid rise. Great. Fantastic. We're the perfect cropped shirt for that. We're just gonna go for it. Um, I forget that not every single pair of jeans is high rise, but yeah, it just goes to show the selection not great. Let's see how these fare. So far, they feel fine. Very stretchy, which I like. Okay, Whew. mid rise, not my favorite, but we'll, we'll work with it. All right, so here we have it. I realize that I've got them extremely hiked up, but that's just how I like to wear my jeans. So these fit a lot better, but the first thing that I will notice is that there is a ton of room here in the front, which I often experience when I am buying like curvy or trying on curvy size jeans, but they don't have that same like snatched waist. So I do notice like quite a bit of extra fabric in the front, which is great because they're stretchy and fine, but it's just not like my ideal type of fit. And then there is also like a massive gap in the back here. So it's really interesting because technically these should be my perfect size and like the back gap is no big deal at all. I encounter that with a lot of jeans that I wear. Also, I had to order these in a size short because it was the only one that they had available. I forgot to mention that. So these are a size 14W short and I'm a tall person, but it kind of makes them like a cropped pair on me. I think they're supposed to be slightly cropped anyway. So like it works, it works out fine. So these aren't bad. I would be curious to try on a pair of 14Ws that are high rise to see how they compare, but they're not bad. They're just like, I still feel like I could maybe go down a size and I'm not saying that like I get a lot of comments from people being like you're just trying to fit into a smaller size it's like I don't I literally don't care what size I am as I've said in all of these videos for years now a size or a little number that's stitched inside of a pair of jeans of some fabric it means absolutely nothing to me it has no weight on my worth and my soul and who I am as a person so that doesn't bother me at all I'm genuinely just using this as a point of reference to be like hey I'm a size 16 and a 14W is still a little big on me. So regardless, not like the best fit in the entire world, but like, could I get away with it? Absolutely. I get why people who maybe wear more like t-shirts that are tucked in or big sweaters would feel more comfortable wearing mid-rise jeans. But I mean, if I was walking around with this crop top, like this just wouldn't, this wouldn't be my most comfortable look. So things to keep in mind, but definitely improvement from the 16W. I just wish that like the cute styles, like the 501s or the rib cages or sort of the more classic Levi jeans were available in this size. So if you're able to find some links, let me know in the comments below. By the way, speaking of links, all the links to these jeans will be linked for you down below as well, just in case you want to shop them and try them for yourself. But yeah, very interesting. Let's move on. So moving on, next we have a pair of 70s high flare. This is a high rise, slim through the hip and thigh flare pair of jeans. I ordered these in a size 32 because, okay, like I said, just covered the 16W, just covered the 14W. Feel like honestly, and maybe it's just because these jeans are stretchy, but I could probably size down as well. So I thought I would try on some straight sizes. Now that's the other thing. So in the straight sizes, like I mentioned, they typically go up to like a 32 or a 33, but a 32 is technically a US size 14 and a 33 is technically a US size 16. I tried on a 14W and a 16W, but I thought it'd be interesting to try on a US size 14 and 16 standard straight. So these do have some stretch to them. I'm wondering if I will fare differently with these than I did with the rib cages that were a size 32 because I don't think there's like much stretch to those at all. I've been actually really trying to find a pair of flare jeans that work for me. So let's hope these are the ones. They are ultra high rise, which I love to hear. And like I said, I do feel a bit of stretch. So we'll see. Uh oh, oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Okay. Um, so we've run into a dilemma here. Um, things were going well until they weren't. <laughs> I cannot get them past my butt, which like, I don't have a big butt. So this is kind of a powerful moment for me. I'm really excited about that. There's absolutely no way. And I mean, mm -mm. do you see how it would just get really confusing for someone? Like it's a 14 or it's not, you know, this just is not it. I mean, I can't even, I can't even get it up any higher. I don't want to rip these jeans. So I'm going to have to put these on Poshmark because I'm trying not to do as many returns. I've heard it's like not great for the environment. So I will put these up for someone to purchase for themselves. If you were like a true size 14, I'm sure it'd be fine. But, uh, 
not happening for me. But I do think it's interesting that so far in the range of sizes that we've tried, it's just been a little bit all over the place, but that is pretty typical for most brands. I don't think there's ever been a trying on different sizes where I've walked into a store and been like, oh, every single pair just fits and it makes sense and there's no size discrepancies. It's just not how it works. So I mean, it is interesting, but that's why I do these videos. They are an experiment. So let's move on because I really don't want to rip these. Okay, next we have for the last, I swear, I won't do this to you anymore. I will not subject yourself to this visual any longer, but I did want to get a more stretchy pair in a size 32 and see how it makes a difference. Like these are slightly stretchy, but these are like really stretchy. And these are called the high rise straight jean. These are in a size 32, which technically I believe is a 14. I am very curious as to how these two are going to compare. So we're going to find out together. Get these things off of me immediately. Okay. Oh no. Oh yeah, no, bad. Okay, never mind. I changed my mind. Oh, I'm concerned for my safety. Okay, yeah, so this it's just not my size. I mean, they stretch to the point where they'd be able to button, but uh, this button's holding on for dear life at this point. I like the fit of them just fine, like everywhere except the waist. I just don't like things digging into my waist. And as I do quite often in these trying on different sizes videos, if it feels like there is like a really strong push and it's like causing a little spillover to happen, that's when I know, okay, it's time to take a step back. I don't want to damage my organs. So these aren't bad jeans by any means, but it's just not my size. So what I was thinking after putting myself through this two times in a row with a 32, I did manage to find one pair of jeans in a 33. So as a quick recap, we've covered a 16W, a 14W, two pairs of 32s, and now I'm gonna try a 33. So I'm gonna go a size up to the 33. The largest straight size that was available, these are the classic 501s. I've actually, I don't think ever tried on a pair of these, but these are what I think of when I think of Levi, like these 90s supermodel, high rise, makes your butt look amazing jeans. And I want, I want myself and plus size people and fat people to be able to have cute trendy clothes as well. So I like that Levi's Levi's has plus sizes available, but the selection that I found of plus sizes sometimes was like completely different jeans or it just wasn't like the cute like 501s, more trendy rib cage options. You know, it was kind of not as much of a selection, which is very common with most brands that carry plus sizes. So I'm gonna test out to see if straight sizes are even an option for me at Levi's because obviously right now this is not looking good. Maybe I will have luck with these and finally find the pair of Levi's I've been looking for. I don't know. Say a prayer to the jeans gods. Okay. Oh no. It's already not feeling promising. Oh no. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I don't know what's going on. Are these right? Size 33. What is happening? I genuinely thought these were going to fit. I mean, I'm so sorry for you to have to stare at my underwear all day today. Whatever, it's the same as a bathing suit, but um, this is where we're at. So this right here is the largest straight size available in this pair of jeans, and they don't offer these in the plus sizes. And I tried on earlier, as you saw in the first pair, the smallest available size of plus sizes I could find, and that's what I was dealing with. So this is just a big whop and fail. I don't really know if I'm doing something wrong here. Please give me a little bit more insight in the comments because clearly I need it. I don't know. Please make it make sense. I just, I don't, understand Levi's like what's good if you are more in the mid-size realm so kind of in between the straight and plus sizes this is why I have talked about this in previous videos you know the mid-size label is pretty interesting I've tried on the largest available straight sizes and the smallest available plus sizes and it doesn't really seem like there's a perfect fit for me so it'd be really cool if they could just pick up where they left off when they start making plus sizes so like if your straight sizes go up to a certain limit maybe like just here start here with your plus sizes instead of like here. Maybe they were having a sale and they were low in stock or something. Maybe I'll be able to find a size 14W in some pairs and I can do another video. Let me know if you'd want to see that down below, but this was not how I expected to end this at all. And I'm just really sad. I really wanted these to fit. I wanted my 90s supermodel moment, but this is what we got, so. 
here we have it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can also turn on my post notifications if you want to be notified every time I post a new video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Like, is, am I doing something wrong? What is your sizing in Levi's? Are you having this same issue? If there are any other brands that you want to see me do videos like this on, let me know in the comments below. You know I love being your guinea pig. Thank you so much for watching this video. I love you so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye.